Hello. Before we start, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to calculate the required size of crane mats, based on pressure from the crane track during lifting operation, and the allowable ground bearing pressure on site. By calculating the suitable size of mats for lifting operation, and knowing the GBP beneath the mats, we can do the necessary preparation on the ground on site. Presented below are several sample images showcasing typical mat support found beneath a crawler track. Mats constructed from wood materials. Mats constructed using I-beams that have been joined together through welding. Additionally, a steel plate placed under the crawler track. In this example, we will calculate the required size of crane mats based on the pressure on the track during lifting operation. This data is generated from the crane manufacturer software. Based on the data, the maximum GBP under the track is 19.22 ton per meter squared. Here are the typical calculation of GBP under the crane mats. Using this method, you considering that the strength of your crane mats is able to withstand the pressure from crawler track, and it can distribute the pressure evenly underneath the mats area and also you considering the allowable ground bearing pressure on site able to withstand the pressure from this result. Calculating the overall ground bearing pressure. We need to consider also the weight of the mats. Please remember, doing this calculation, you're assuming that the crane mats is strong enough to withstand the load and distributed evenly the pressure on the ground. Also some of the crane company is already design and fabricate the crane mats. This is helpful for you. They already calculated the capacity of the crane mats. Now. Let us start. Please take note this abbreviation for each wording. This is the list of the formula we will use for calculation. Please take note this list of formula and take out your calculator so you can follow me how I do the computation. Based on the ground bearing pressure from the software, always we need to consider in calculation the maximum pressure on one crane mat. The contact area of the crawler track on a single crane mat can be determined by multiplying the width of the crawler track by the width of the mat. This calculation yields the point load exerted on the mats. After getting the point load on one crane mats, here are the other data we need for our calculation. Crawler track width is 1.5 meter. Mat width is 1.2 meter. Weight of each mat is 2 ton. The allowable ground bearing pressure on site is 7 ton per meter squared. Shear and bending stress of the mats. Soil bearing method. This method. Showing how to know the required size of mat base on the allowable ground bearing pressure on site. Based on the formula given, start to substitute the data into formula and start to calculate. You can pause the video so you can follow my computation. This is required mat bearing area. By adding the load on the mat and weight of the mat, divided by allowable ground bearing pressure. Required effective bearing length of the mat. To get this, dividing the mat bearing area to width of the mat. Next. Cantle Evered Length of Mat L required minus crawler track width and divided by 2 Ground bearing pressure due to point load To get this Point load divided by L required multiply by width of mat Next, 
calculate the bending moment in the mat. Ground bearing pressure multiply by width of mats. And multiply by LC squared. And all to be divided by 2. Bending stress due to moment on mat. To get this. Moment value divided by width of mats. And multiply it by thickness of mats by the power of 3. And then divide it to 6. This is the inertia of the mat. This calculation is applicable for wooden type of crane mats. In the next video I will upload for steel crane mats and steel plate calculation. Shear stress due to V. To get this. 1.5 times V. And then divided by width of mat multiply by thickness. Since bending moment and shear stress is less than the allowable bending moment and shear stress of the mats. Therefore, crane mats able to distribute the pressure on the ground. Now, you can calculate the ground bearing pressure on the ground. Now, in our next method, we will do the mat strength calculation. Based on the assumed length of the mat. This is to allow us to reduce the ground bearing pressure on the ground. Usually we already have standard size of mats available on site. We can start to calculate the effectiveness of this mats. Now, based on our first calculation, minimum required length of mats is 4.36 meter. We assumed our crane mat length is 6 meter. Start to calculate base on this assumed 6 meter length of mat. Procedure is the same as we do in the first calculation. Ground bearing pressure due to point load. Point load on the mats divided by the assumed length and multiply it by width of mat. Bending stress due to moment on mat. To get this, moment value divided by width of mats, and multiply it by thickness of mats by the power of 3, and then divide it to 6. This is the inertia of the mat. Shear stress due to V. To get this, 1.5 times V and then divided by width of mat multiply by thickness. Shear stress due to V. To get this, 1.5 times V, and then divided by width of mat multiply by thickness. Since bending moment and shear stress is less than the allowable bending moment and shear stress of the mats, therefore, crane mats able to distribute the pressure on the ground. Now, the ground bearing pressure result is point load on the mats plus weight of the mat divided by the assumed length times width of the mat. This is the summary of the result. Soil bearing method and mat strength method. Source for this calculation is from this below picture.